now. At the moment, I'm starting to tie a few uh, what I'd call spinner patterns or dry flies. Uh, another name we would call, we'd call them spiders. Spiders because they, there's no wings on them, just a hackle to float them. And you can do them all sizes, tens down. That's entirely up to sale. I'm tying some size 18s at the moment. Now I'm going to show you a couple of these which I, I, I really like. Now the first one I'm going to use, uh, the second colour is going to be a rusty brown. So just run the wax through to get it started. The hook, uh, I'm using the barbless hook, this one, from Full and Mill. It's a size 18. Uh, it's, a, it's a nice ultimate dry, it's a nice hook. There's a black nickel version which I like using as well. Now what we do is we simply start at the eye. A very simple fly. Come down about the thorax length and then remove the waist. Now I'm using a grey, natural grey hackle fibre for the tail. So cock hackle. Don't be shy with tail length. A good size, good length, especially on small spinners and so on. But just simply come down. Length of the shank, just before you get to the end, come underneath the fibres and then do a turn to lift and separate them. You can do a turn on top just to lock them in, that's fine. Now to rib it, the, one of the easiest ways to rib it is actually to just use a pen. I'm using a brown permanent marker. Down about a centimetre or so from the hook and then we can rub the fly Give it that nice quill effect. And we can take away the waist. Now the hackle. I'm using this one. This is a, a Hebert Miner. It's a dry fly. It's a dry fly neck. Um, this one's from obviously Whiten. It's basically the Hebert Miner uh, dry fly hackle. And the colour I'm using is a, a medium grey. Or medium grey done. Now you get lots of flies out of one hackle, so so with the hackle here would remove some of the fibre. So a bit of wax on my thread to get a grip. Just screw it in. Now I'm using what they call squirrel dubbing. This is from SLF. And the colour I'm using is a burnt orange. Basically suits the body colour. It's a, it's a nice blend, it works really well. Lightly dub it on, slide it up. You see, this gives an impression of legs as well as the thorax, obviously. Just form a nice thorax throughout. Any fibre want to go forward, just draw it back. Bring a thread to the front. Keep the dubbing quite loose. And then we wind through the dubbing towards the eye. Around about three to four turns. Cross your thread. Three or four turns to hold. Trim away your hackle. There's a wee bit of dubbing there, but what I'm going to do, I'm just going to pull it back, hold it back with the thread turns. I'm going to put a wee bit of varnish on the thread. And then what finish. And you know, tighten up, trim away a thread. Now that's the first one. Very easy to tie. I mean, you can fill a box really quick. Now, <coughs> the one of my favourites is is this one here. I catch a lot of fish on this one, right throughout the season. I catch with the other one as well, but this one especially I catch with, and uh, it's quite simple to tie. Now. Using the same hook. Now you can this, the hook sizes I say you go. I go smaller, mainly smaller than these flies. Uh, although I have one or two, always worth having the bigger ones tied up, and uh, for the large spinners. Now I'm using a light cable thread, an eight o. Let's run the wax through it, and we start at the eye, come down about thorax length again. Exact same way, and then tie in the tail, same tail, a nice grey done, 
cock. Now, you, as I say, you can change the colours as well. I, good hackle colours or hackles to use. Uh, I'm just going to use some more feathers. Um, would be a grizzle, a cree. Cream's a good colour if you can get the cream. Any of the sort of main colours for like would represent like the spinner or the wing or some sort. It does really well. And grey is one of the my favourite. Now what I'm gonna do is again there's the length, the tail I want, so hold that there. Catch fibres on the top. And then we just work our way down, keeping the fibres on top to the back of the hook, like we did before. Come underneath and then pull towards the front and then lift and separate the fibres. And then we can trim away the waste. Now you could put colour on the thread, but in this one I prefer not to, I just prefer the Cahill colour. Just work my way up. Basically your body length. Now back to our hackle. Now you have, you can tie in, uh, I've actually got a cape here, I'm going to use, instead of the genetic I'm going to use, this is a, a rooster or a, it's a grey hen, a grey cock bird that a friend of mine had. Now you, it's obviously not got the, the length of fibre, the, co the, the length of hackles that you get in a genetic but you get a lot of nice wee feathers and I, I still like tying with these. So the first thing we do is remove the fluff at the bottom. Just trim away the stem I don't need. We touch our wax. Catch it with the underside of the feather facing myself. Secure it in. Now the dubbing I'm using is again it's a squirrel dub. This is called bleach, bleached ginger. Uh, to me it's more a kind of it's a dirty creamy colour. It's it's a, it's a great it's a really good colour of dubbing. Um, I like it on the body itself, so you can do some with on the body. So we just tick it up lightly and then wind it on to form like a thorax. And you've got enough, take away the excess. You don't need much. And then we use the hackle pliers in this case because it's a small hackle. And then we just wind through, spacing it out as we wind through the thorax. You're only going to get three to four turns with these hackles. Then we can remove two or three turns to hold, remove the tip of the hackle and we're going to form the head, two or three turns and then back to our varnish we touch on the thread. Flat finish. Trim away. And these will represent many of the spinners on the water. So you can tie them in different colours. Change the thread colour. You can change the hackles, as I say, the grizzle, cree, any of these all work. Uh, so a very simple uh, dressing, simple flies. So I hope you enjoyed that and that's basically we I'd call small spinner patterns, uh, hackle spinners or spiders. So I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs>